Thank you, Lord. I pray, Lord, right now that your spirit is here, Father, and healing people's bodies in the name of Jesus. We take authority over every unclean spirit that is trying to attack us, to destroy us. Satan, you have no right to steal, kill, and destroy us. Because we know one thing, you are under our feet as children of God. And right now, Father, I thank you for your peace that passes all their understanding, Lord. That they would not worry about anything in life, but choose to wait on you, Lord, and be strengthened. Even as David said, wait on the Lord and he shall strengthen your heart. So, Lord, I thank you for strengthening the hearts and the minds of the people who are here and those who are viewing us, Lord. Not to grow weary, not to get discouraged, but to be strong in you, Lord, and in the power of your might. Thank you, Father, for the life of Jesus that lives in us. God, you have promised that all things work together for good to those who love God and who are called according to your purpose. And Lord, when we pray your mysteries, when we pray in the Holy Ghost, Lord, we know that we can be assured we are praying your will for our lives. And your will for us is only good, it is perfect, it is acceptable, Lord. And I thank you, Father, for strengthening people to give wisdom to them, Father, to know what to do in life, to make the right choices and to receive the right word in due season, Lord. For Lord, you said that you give us a word in due season. So I thank you for your words that you're speaking to us today, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord this morning. Wonderful are the works of the Lord. That's what we're going to sing. Marvelous are his ways. Jehovah Jireh is the Lord, our provider. That's the name that Abraham received when he went up on the mountaintop and he offered his, when he went to offer his son and we see the Lord said, don't lay your hands on your son. I know truly that you have obeyed me. And then when Abraham looked to the side, he saw a ram and then he called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh, which means the Lord our provider. And the Lord says in his word that he never withholds any good thing from those who walk uprightly. Do you believe that God is Jehovah Jireh? Amen. Hallelujah. He's Jehovah Jireh and he's able to provide for you. Nothing is too hard for him. Nothing is impossible. And all of you joining us online, we're so glad that you're here. We pray that you'll be blessed, strengthened and refreshed as we minister unto the Lord in song. You know, one of the reasons that we, we sing to the Lord is because the Bible says that He delights and He rejoices in our praises. Praise is offering our sacrifice. That's how we come to the Lord. We come to Him by bringing up these offerings to Him. And the scripture says He dwells in the midst of those who praise Him. He inhabits our praises. So we pray you'll be blessed. Join us as we sing with the lyrics on the screen. Amen. Wonderful are your works. Let's rejoice in Him.
and more than conquerors through Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Let's say it together. I am more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ who lives in me. The greater one lives in me than he that is in the world. I am strong in the Lord in the power of his might. Amen. Let's sing that the words that we were just declaring. I am a conqueror. Hallelujah.
not to stay in one place defeated in life but you have given us the ability to overcome lord thank you father thank you jesus sin no longer dwells in us because lord we have been given righteousness right standing with you lord that is the new nature in us to overcome sin hallelujah hallelujah we are overcomers we don't have to stay defeated we will only stay defeated if we believe the lies of the devil if you keep believing what he's telling you you're going to stay defeated but that's why we are declaring we are more than conquerors because it's not us who lives anymore galatians 2:20 it says i am crucified with christ it's not i that lives anymore but christ lives in me and the life that i now live in the flesh i live by the faith of the son of god so this flesh and blood that you're living in this body you don't live by just your five senses anymore you have five senses but you don't just live by those senses you live by the greater one who lives in you that's the difference when you are a christian you're not your body is not your own anymore it belongs to him so he gives you overcoming ability in this life maybe you're facing an addiction or you've gone through some defeat in life don't believe that that's who you are and that's how you're going to stay you can only stay there if you believe that lie but if you declare scripture like this the more you speak it and you sing it you're allowing the greater one in you jesus to give you that strength to overcome anything in life amen we're not going to stay defeated anyone going to live defeated here are you going to stay as a failure no. are you going to stay in the past no. no you're going to rise up and you're going to say what the word says hallelujah. amen hallelujah praise god let's continue worshiping him he found us when we were lost and now we are found
Chastisement of my peace was upon you by your stripes. I was healed. You were wounded for my transgressions, you were bruised for my iniquity. The chastisement. upon you by your stripes I was here
we believe and we receive it by just say those words right now i believe it and receive it up all their wounds. He's the healer of the broken hearted. Yes, he's the healer of the broken hearted. You're the healer of the broken hearted. You are my healer. You are my my soul. Let's say that. Thank you, Lord, for restoring my soul. Thank you for restoring my soul. Thank you for restoring. That's where the enemy comes to attack you in your soul, in your mind, your emotions. And David here in Psalm 23, he said, the Lord restores my soul. Only one who can restore your thoughts, your emotions, your life back together. It's only the Lord who can restore you. And he also tells us that he restores the wasted years. Mm. Maybe you've wasted a lot of time on the wrong things. Wasted a lot of time with the wrong people. And now you wish you could get back those years. In the book of Joel, I think it's one of the verses there where it says, he restores 2.25, Joel 2.25. He said, he restores the years that the locusts have eaten. Whatever the devil has stolen from you, the Lord can restore those years back again. Hallelujah, he can restore it back. I'm just reminded of these two scriptures. He restores our soul and he restores the wasted years. Thank God for that. You can build your life back again. You can enjoy life back again when you understand that only the Lord can restore you back. When you go to Him, if you're trying to go back and trying to find it from man, ways that you can get your life back, they can't give you what you're looking for. Mm. You go to the Word and the Lord will just, He'll remove those thoughts that you've been thinking all this time. He'll show you what to think upon and how to live your life back again for Him. He might give you even new plans and strategies because he's the God who restores us. Let's say those two scriptures. Let's say, Lord, I thank you, Lord, I thank you for restoring my soul. Restoring my soul. Restoring, restoring the, wasted years the wasted years to continue living my life. Continue living my life for you. For you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. For leading me. For leading me. In the paths, in the paths of, righteousness of righteousness. To live my life to for live you. My life for you. Not looking back. 
not looking back at the past at the past my past is buried my past is buried washed by the blood of jesus washed by the blood of jesus i am a new creation i am a new creation in christ in christ in jesus name in jesus amen